see good afternoon welcome back to the topic discussion chemistry of main group elements it is the part of paper inorganic chemistry chi 130 for msc1 first semester okay so there is a two section there are two section section 1 is composed of the molecular symmetry and its application which is for two grades and section 2 is about the chemistry of main group elements hydrogen its compounds and like this you can see okay up to eight part and ninth part is about organometric compounds these are the few references you can read and explore yourself let us go for the hydrogen and its compounds the first part is about classification of hydrides the question is what about the hydrogen so hydrogen is the first atom hydrogen is the first atom of S block element. Hydrogen is the first element of S block element. And it is very versatile because there are many compounds which are formed by combination with the hydrogen there is a variety of the compounds one of them is hydride one of them is hydride so hydride is one of the class of the compounds of hydrogen hydrogen so what is the definition of hydride it is the binary compound of hydrogens binary compounds of hydrogens are called hydride what is the meaning of hydride or what is the meaning of bi uh, binary compounds binary means two binary means two compounds two two elements when they combine and they form the compounds are called as binary compounds hydrogen is one of them out of two compounds hydrogen is one of them and second compound or another compound would be any compound which are which is from p block or maybe from d block or maybe from s block or maybe from f block any atom can be there any element is possible which is combining with the hydrogen and the resulted compounds is are called as or is called as hydrides so very simple approach we have about hydrides. So hydride is a any binary compound. The first sentence, any binary compound of hydrogen is called as hydride. And remember, the EH bond is always covalent. EH bond is always covalent. And it is also possible. It is also possible that it could be the ionic bond also. Generally, the binary compounds of hydrogens are of three types. There are three classes of hydrides or of, or of hydrides simply. There is a range of structural changes, but we can study them in three classes. The first is what? The molecular hydrides. Then second is slide hydrides and third type is metallic hydride. Okay. So see here. So what is the molecular hydride? Examples of molecular hydrides are methane is before you then ammonia 
water these three structures are there this is a considered as the black ball is a c and this is what the white is a h ch so there are one there is one carbon and four hydrogens this gives you ch4 then this is what the ammonia nitrogen and there are three hydrogen attached to the nitrogen shown in the white balls right so ammonia nh3 ch4 and here you see it is a water h2 this h h oxygen gas so these are the examples of molecular hydrides why are there hydrides if you look at these structures if you see this methane you will find that there is a one carbon and what is another type there is a hydrogen irrespective of number of hydrogen don't, don't get confused binary compounds is two types of from elements it is not about two elements binary compound means those compounds which involves two types of elements remember the point binary compound are the compound which involves two types of elements one of them is hydrogen and another can be any element from the periodic table so here we have taken carbon so ch4 here nitrogen so nh3 and here this is another atom which is combining with the hydrogen is nothing is the oxygen so what so these are the examples of molecular hydrides another category is what saline hydrides or also called as ionic hydrides these are formed between the most electropositive element with hydrogen it's a very important sentence saline hydrides are the those hydrides or compounds of binary compounds of hydrogen in which one is the hydrogen and another partner is what the most electropositive element another partner is most electropositive element yes remember the point most electropositive so anyone can tell or you can judge if you imagine the red table pt you will find that if you move hydrogen to down the group what we will find what we will see we see that there is a increase in the metallic character from top to down if you move down the group uh, size of the atom increases and hence metallic character increases and hence electropositive character also increases fine so examples are there so you got it what is saline hydrides fine examples are lithium hydride calcium hydride and many more are possible many more this line hydrides are non volatile they are electrically they are non conducting and they are crystalline solids also especially group 1 and group 2 elements they form the compounds with the hydrogen and they they are called hydrides salt or they are also called the ionic hydrides or saline hydrides so remember the sentence most electropositive means what is the meaning of most electropositive if you think about lithium and it is forming the compound binary compound with the hydrogen lithium hydrogen lithium hydride so we think about this what is the if you ionize this compound or if you we are calling this ionic hydride so what is the meaning of this it means that this lithium would carry definitely carry the positive charge and this would carry negative charge fine yes similarly we can go for variety of example if you go for sodium if you go for sodium sodium and it's combining with the hydrogen sodium hydride and definitely most positive is positive charge and this hydrogen bear negative charge 
sodium hydride. But if I am going for the writing of calcium hydride, that can be visible in the next slide. See, this is the calcium hydride. This is the calcium hydride. My question is why? The ratio of hydrogen with lithium is 1 is to 1 here. While for calcium it is 1 is to 2. Why? So you should know the reason. Because calcium is what? The, it is the group 2 element. Group 2 elements are you must know beryllium, magnesium, right? Then calcium, then strontium, then barium. You must remember, you must memorize and radium. All of you must have this idea of what? How the elements are arranged in the protein. So this is the S block element. So when hydrogen the group 2 element. What is the meaning of group 2 elements? They have two electrons in their last shell. Therefore, when beryllium breaks with hydrogen, it forms beryllium hydride, magnesium hydride, calcium hydride, strontium hydride, barium hydride, and these are radioactive, so this will not form. Fine. Fine. So like this, we should have idea how the hydrides combined with the different element, hydrogen combined with the different elements of the active and they form. See, third type is metallic hydride. Metallic hydrides are non-stoichiometric. Means, what is non-stoichiometric? Means, just, just now we have seen this uh, very exact stoichiometric proportion between the hydrogen and the metals, calcium and hydrogen, lithium and hydrogen, sodium and hydrogen, magnesium and hydrogen, we have seen just now. Means 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2 like that. But whenever it comes to metallic hydrides, they are also called as non stoichiometric hydrides. In this case, metallic hydrides mean this, this is formed by the D block elements, D and F block elements. So this hydrogen atoms they occupy the interstitial sites you must know about solid state we must have idea of solid state so examples of hydrogen atoms uh, which are residing in the industry in interstitial sites within the metal structures so anyone can tell this example or what is the meaning of this concept yes what is a have you seen the metal hydride, metallic hydrides? Yes. So metallic hydrides is suppose there is a metals, for example, once imagine the iron metal, suppose. Yes. Yes. So metallic hydrides, these hydrides are very means, uh, rare actually. And in this, the metals are occupied the uh, sites. For example, so see, there is a suppose uh, this is a, a crystal of the iron metal, suppose with FCC face centered cubic. Okay, so there is a crystal, suppose like this. And you know, uh, see, I'm unable to form this proper because see, this just I'm trying to show rough diagram, and we will end now. We will stop after this. See. Uh, so these are the sites. You should know this. Okay, fine. All of you. These sites, these, these, these called as interstitial sites. Okay, these are called as interstitial sites. So these are hydrogens atoms. They go and reside here. Okay, they go and reside here in the interstitial sites, and they form what the uh, hydrides called as metallic hydrides. In this, the ratio of hydrogen with the metal is very rare. Very, very, very miss. Uh, we can see in the uh, not integer, it is a non integer value. So, this is the third type of hydrate. So, this is the figure before you can see the classification of binary hydrogen compounds, SPD block and F block elements. 
So those are saline in nature. It is shown in yellow color. You can see. Those are metallic. Are shown in uh, blue. And uh, molecular hydrides means forming the covalent bond are shown in uh, this uh, gray color. You can see. And off white is what is the means we can say they are unknown. It means not clear about that. About that. So hope you understand this. Fine. So we will stop now. Uh,